Welcome to Coffee and Regs. I was thinking about, you know, how, you know, how this applies right now to asset managers. And for example, one question might be, uh, what would somebody sitting in a compliance office of an investment manager now um, look to um, as a future date to be aware of? So if they were thinking, okay, what do I next need to look out for, um, for ESG concerns if I'm at an investment manager? And it could be with regard to any one of those regulations. They might not even be aware of all the terminology that you just described, such as the, you know, uh, corporate um, uh, uh, the CSRD, corporate sustainability, um, corporate, uh, I think it was the reporting directive, corporate mm -hmm. sustainability reporting directive, yeah. and how that might amend the non-financial um, directive that you talked about. And then you also separately mentioned the SFDR um, and the taxonomy regulation. But for somebody maybe at a high level that deals with um, uh, regulations globally, and they have to focus perhaps maybe a small part of their day on ESG matters, they might not know exactly, you know, which date is, you know, which one of those is going to be important to them in the next month or the next six months. What would you say um, to that person? What should they look out for? Is there a key date or is there a key regulation that will matter more in the near term future? Yeah, I think that's a great question. And I think to, um, to sort of focus the mind, the is is going to be about the SFDR, the Sustainable Finance okay. uh, Disclosure uh, Regulation. So, uh, just to give uh, some, so I would say two dates are important. One already occurred in the past, and that was the uh, the initial implementation uh, on March 10th of the SFDR within within Europe, and it applies to. Uh, EU asset managers. Uh, and what's interesting to mention in that regard um, is that the the SFDR as a initial uh, text applies um, so there's some basic um, you know European uh, legislative procedure here. The SFDR applies uh, on its face without further um, uh, transposition without further action by individual EU member states uh, on its own terms as of March 10th of this year. And that meant that asset managers within the EU needed to do a, a couple of things. First, classify their financial products under the uh, under the articles of the SFDR mm -hmm. and begin the process of uh, amending and what we saw mostly were tweaking their product documentation to um, to disclose this this product classification. Uh, the SFDR went into effect, however, before the detailed technical standards um, were available uh, to the market and before those have come into effect. Um, because of you know global events of the last year and a half, the uh, European Union's timing regarding the uh, those regulatory technical standards, which we call the Level Two RTS, uh, that timing was uh, was was thrown off and delayed, and the market needed to comply with the SFDR at a high level, um, principles based on March 10th, without having the benefit of those detailed uh, standards. So the next date um, that I think firms think, uh, should be paying attention to is indeed uh, the detailed uh, regulatory technical standards that should be coming, I would say, really uh, any day now. So um, it, the, the, in a sense, the European bodies are, are, are still overdue. Uh, this summer, we've, we heard that the effective date of that level two technical standard would come um, uh, in July of next year, July 1st, 2022, which is a six month delay to uh, what we expected on, on January 1st, 2022. So not to get too much into the details, I think what, what um, listeners should be looking out for is the, is the, the final uh, version of those technical standards. That's what we're right. first looking for, and then uh, those will be published. At, and I really think, um, yeah, any when I say any day now, I think it could be in the next couple of weeks, but it could also be in the next couple of months. Um, but we already know from the regulatory uh, authority authorities in the EU that the effective date will not be before July 1st of next year. This has been another episode of Coffee and Regs.